Hi guys, welcome to Standard Share. So today we are going to see the post market analysis. As per the yesterday analysis video, I've clearly mentioned that we we can expect that the market can trend tomorrow, and we are not sure of which side the market will trend. So, but I have given more clarity on what was my expectations. Let me let me share that content to you guys now. So now this is yesterday's video. Nifty might trend tomorrow. Pick the direction, okay? And 90 people have watched that. Let me. Uh, run this video now the market to go down a bit come towards 22300 zone okay and then 22300 zone or 22370 zone or somewhere anyway downside and then if it gives a bounce that would be a good opportunity so okay so clearly i have mentioned that though it was a trending nature which i am expecting and what i told is like the market has to break either of the high or low but my expectation was that market might break down and come towards 22300 or 22370 and if you see the low of today it is around 22352 and which has exactly taken support at 22370 because if you see the close it is 22370 and then gave a bounce and now rejecting at the cpr so what i clearly mentioned is that this is my expectation this is where it can take support how did i say the support it can come to a 22300 or 22370 i gave two support levels but one was one was actually respected and then the bounce has come now this bounce if it sustains and if this low is not going to get broken for further then the market can still more go further upside only clear yeah. and one more questions which was asked by everyone is that you told that Uh, pr sundar and your view has you have told similarly where did you mention that we are not able to understand that so that is what the uh, uh, comments which i have received from many of the people who have pinged me so if you see this monthly analysis video which i posted on saturday 75 views only has come and let me play this content now 50 for now though market can correct i am not expecting a, a close below march months low okay so what i clearly mentioned is that though the market can correct but i'm not expecting the march recent low to to not to break so that is what the analysis which i gave it on saturday and now let's see the uh, uh, pre market report which was shared by uh, pr sundar on uh, uh, march 4th which is on monday morning this low was 22047 nifty spot so let us take approximately 22000 so going by that logic now 22000 should not be broken so even we th- we both have the same same sort of logic analysis only he has clearly told that the first day of the march trading month has been a good bullish month bullish day so he is expecting that the low of that month low of that day cannot be broken so the low he is expecting is this low cannot be broken now if you want you can check it in the nifty spot chart if you see the nifty spot chart here uh, where is the march month Okay, here is a March month. This March month low is twenty two thousand forty seven, in which he is telling that twenty two thousand will not get broken for us to remain bullish. So that is what I have also told. I have told that March month low, which has formed on one Friday, which will not be broken because we are on a bullish uh, nature only. Clear. So these are the analysis which I have shared. Just because he he is a, he he has been in a market for a longer time and he is posting all his. a profit screenshot or like all his trades in screenshots he is getting lot of followers and he is doing some lot of marketing also he is getting lots of sponsorship also but me being a small trader though i am able to at least give some analysis somewhere near to him but still there is not much views if you see yesterday's post market views post market views were 90 but monthly view which i shared on saturday which is just 75 views okay so this is this is the interest shown by people no matter what i say if it is coming from a huge audience uh, guy then that that means they are following it anyways no problem but i wanted to ensure that i am on the correct path right now the market is not close it is around 316 only but let us see the volume formed for today if you see the volume formed for today it is not a great of a selling volume and also i could see a bounce has happened i clearly told that if the market has to come down uh, breaking this low then it can come down towards this zone of 22300 but right now it has taken support at 22350 so what's next that will be the question for everyone again if i am not I, w- i would not expect this low to break i would expect some consolidation to happen and then start going up if this low is going to get broken then we have to again come back to this particular zone of 22110 which i am not expecting to come and my expectation is that it can consolidate or take a bounce and go upside if you want to check it on the hourly chart 
okay let me go to analyze the uh, daily chart and use pivots also as well okay with the help of pivot concept the the candle has opened above the uh, cpr and close above h4 and r1 double pivot zone and now it has come towards the double pivot zone for a retest scenario i would say that the candle has come for a retest scenario only so it has done a retest now the expectation is is that it can go further upside which can go towards 22700 so let us see whether that's going to happen or not now let me go to hourly chart and also go to the weekly pivots if you check on the hourly chart yesterday it was like full of consolidation it gave a breakout now came down again formed uh, 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 what to say outside reversal setup and started moving up the expectation is that i would expect it to come towards sorry guys i would expect it to come towards 22300 where the double pivot sorry golden pivot zone bullish golden pivot zone actually lies so still it looks like it has taken a support but it has not broken this high i would expect at least this high to break then it can go further till 22700 but far now it has made a low, lower high and if this low breaks then i would expect it to take support around 22300 if there is good support activity taken at this zone then the highly poss uh, high possible go upside move is there now let me go to 15 minute chart the 15 minute chart is not yet over still we have 10 more minutes with us but for now if the market is looking like it has closed below the cpr and uh, in 15 minutes maybe it can still bounce back but if it is giving a good bounce and a good close that will be a good scenario to watch out but with the with, with this analysis okay with just uh, uh, still more 10 minutes to go let me go for the next day pivots and let's see what can be done okay with this analysis tomorrow also it is a very very narrow cpr but expecting that the market should close here today's market if the market closes above then the possibility of cpr becoming wide and the possibility of other camera loss going upside is also there and cpr is also lower value camera loss also is showing a lower value so the expectation is that tomorrow we are having a bearish bias basically whenever there is a bearish bias is there if the candles are opening and closing below the cpr then that will be the possibility of selling nature but if the candles are opening above the cpr that will be the possibility of a high uh, bullish nature so right now the market act actually ended um, uh, bearish to sideways nature only so no proper uh, clarity for tomorrow uh, my, my expectation is that tomorrow's high is here i'm sorry guys my expectation is that tomorrow for tomorrow this is the high and this is the low so if any of this is getting broken then the possibility of going up, upside or downside is there but if the candles are opening and closing above the cpr then any pullback towards the cpr can be considered as a buying oppo buying opportunity so i will wait for that opportunity to happen now if you if there will be one question okay you have told about hourly weekly and tomorrow but how i should have traded today that will be one question which will be for everyone say for example the candle has opened below the cpr so that means the bias is rejected that means any any pullback towards the cpr can be a selling opportunity and right now it is going down how long it can go down we are not sure because it has in the intraday chart it has crossed below l4 s2 everything but if you see this is this this pivot which is coming over here this pivot i'm sorry guys this pivot which is coming over here this pivot is called as virgin cpr zone because whenever there is a virgin cpr that means whenever that day's particular candle did not touch the cpr that cpr is called as the virgin cpr so it has exactly took a support at there and then started moving up and if you see this is the weekly reversal setup even this is also weekly reversal setup but i would prefer this sort of setup to happen at the uh, uh, virgin cpr zone so considering this also say for example if you have taken a trade it is 28 sorry 20, 31 points of stop loss your stop loss got hit and now if you have taken a trade at this point it is 27 points stop loss you would have got a good move so always there is this is a reversal setup yes this is a nice setup i don't say it as no but i would prefer a reversal setup at this here because the virgin cpr is there virgin h3 l3 is also l3 is also there so i would expected a uh, movement over there and then we we would have gone upside and any pullback towards the cpr can be a selling opportunity only 
but there is no proper weak reversal setup or like it is outside reversal setup or any other reversal setup has formed but if you see this is also called as the extreme reversal setup which is actually formed so we if you are like trained well with your eyes if you are like very confident with your eyes like you know that this is a weak reversal setup this is a doji reversal setup this is a extreme reversal setup this is a outside reversal setup if you are like very much knowledgeable on this this area then you can easily take these sort of trades clear because as per extreme reversal setup this is the extreme candle which has to form which should have the body of previous two to three candles size of the body okay if you if you see these three candle size if you multiply by two it this candle size should be there and then after that a reversal candle should form which should be opposite to this color so if it is green color you should get a red color and after that it has it has fallen down or it has been in a sideways nature so this is what is expected for an extreme reversal setup and that is what actually happened now we still have seven more minutes to done but i think the view remains the same so any close above the cpi we will be able to go for buying opportunity and any close below the cpi we need to check on how how the candle is reacting on the cpi and apart from that i could see few of the comments let me go to those comments so if you see over here kindly can you do a video how to add pivot bars indicator that is shown in this video so for this question what will be my answer is for there are two membership as mentioned here one is 29 and one is 329 399 no it should be 299 have a correct check on this okay so based on that for if the uh, say for example i am going to give the indicators only for membership people and um, you can you can always reach out to me at sunnershare at gmail.com so i'll be able to give it to you so what is my plan is like i'm going I'm, I'm 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 with another person doing a, a, a work where to get the pivot boss indicator as well as other pivots also um, included with that and then um, make it available for many people you have to copy that pine code editor and then save it in the trading view for that separate video i will do it and in that separate video you will be able to watch it okay soon or sooner or later i will make that video and let you know Ro, Rola Shok Kumar. Okay. And for Sudish Sukumaran, bro, in your paid YouTube subscription, I could see two membership. One is 29 and one is 399, which is 299 if I'm not wrong. Which is which is the one get updated by you where there are other members too. See, say for example, 29 is for if you are okay to help, then help the channel by paying 29. That's it. And 299 is for back testing videos. If you see where the higher number of people are there, higher number of people are there in 29 rupees only, not in 299. 299 only few members are there. And for 299, what are the other benefits they get is like regular backtesting videos of pivot bus concepts is uploaded. And also I am giving them, um, I, have, I have a channel separately for them. And whenever I take an entry in any of the stock, I, I share that entry there and I also give the stop loss over there. And, and and that that is what the benefits they are getting one is back testing video manually i am running through all the back testing videos and i'm posting it to them without editing it and second thing is on the uh, uh, this one what is that the calls whichever i am taking the trades which are which is not calls the trades whichever i am taking i am just sharing it with the stop loss levels so if anyone is willing willing to learn they are making use of it clear so these are the two updates which i have and apart from that uh, nothing much we have still five more minutes to go four more minutes to go and i'm not expecting a good move and uh, market might end here itself so that is what the analysis which i've shared for nifty as well as for other uh, questions as well uh, maybe in the small time we will watch what happened to the mcx let me go to gold okay gold yes okay gold it, it was trading at this zone i was saying that if, if there is a pullback or a rejection in this zone then we have to consider otherwise it will go further upside it is still going upside we we, we would not have got an entry proper entry at this zone to go upside either we should wait for an entry for a pullback otherwise we have to stay uh, side next possible is on the crude oil crude oil i clearly told it was also trading at this zone i said it has to come towards the cpr i would be happy if it is coming towards the uh, golden pivot zone uh, bullish golden pivot zone so now what is the other possibility which we can take see if anyone wants to take an entry over here they can take an entry at this point okay uh, entry about 78.43 and the stop loss is 78.14 and again after that this candle also good a good a good close and this is also called as an outside reversal bar 
if anyone wants to take an entry then their entry will be 78.69 and the stop loss is 78.12 see this is highly volatile market so you have to decide what is the possibility or what is the expectation of the market can happen clear so this is on crude now let me go to natural gas on the natural gas i told right it was trading around this particular zone i told um, and this actually gave a breakout so my expectation was that it can come it can uh, do a, a rejection at the r1 and then come towards the cpr or some to the h3 if there is a close below the h3 then our my expectation is that it can go towards the cpr right now it has it is trying to take support at this particular candle slope see this particular candle slope it is trying to take support so i would prefer that if anyone wants to take an entry about this candle 1.93 the stop loss will be 1.92 if the if the stop loss gets it you have to avoid because that will form a lower low uh, situation and that can bring the uh, natural gas to uh, 1.78 level also so for now it is it if this low is not getting broken then it can go towards 1.970 and 2.03 so let us wait and watch what is going to happen in natural gas and the last one to see is copper futures so copper futures on the other hand it was also trading around this particular zone where it has taken support and now going up and facing resistance the double pivot zone then again coming back to this uh, golden pivot zone so if anyone had taken an entry here they would have got a good profit if anyone had taken an entry over they would have still got profit so uh, above 3.85 the entry can be taken and the stop loss is 3.84 and it has actually gone till now to 3.86 more than 0.01 dollars it has given so this is how you need to wait for the opportunity and take a trade so that will be able to give you some clarity on it so right now uh, looks like everything has taken an entry and we are stick, we are we are like focused with the low what what is going to happen the stop loss apart from that anything else we will we'll, we'll check it on the tomorrow's video and right now nifty futures is going to end at the same place so we hopefully let's see what's going to happen tomorrow i hope the analysis is helping you and the knowledge shared is going to help you if you feel the content is good kindly give a like share and subscribe to the channel and also please feel free to share your feedback in the comment section if you want your friends and family also to get knowledgeable please share this video to your friends and family thanks a lot stay tuned for more videos